Hello and welcome to The Hearing. I'm John. And from Chicago's north side, I'm Scotto. And apologies for last week. Um, I, Tuesday of last week, we lost power after um, Hurricane Isaiah came up the east coast. I live in New Jersey, a little bit in from the shore. Um, it was out for 50, just shy of 50 hours, like 50 minutes shy of 50 hours. I prefer to say it that way because it sounds more impressive than just, you know, just a little over two days. And we just barely made this because I got hit by a tornado or what might be, have been a tornado. In Chicago. And I lost power for 20 hours. Didn't think tornadoes could happen in cities, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> so we're here finally. Um, and on to this week's album, which is from 2020. In fact, um, as of tomorrow, two weeks ago. Um, and it is Swears by Marion Call and the Gutter Snipes. Marion Cole is an American singer-songwriter based in Juneau, Alaska, and known for her lyrics, which often draw from unlikely subject matter, such as uh, Firefly, BSG, Pride and Prejudice, beer, coffee, the ISS, and even the unusual relationship between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, has a really nice kind of romantic song based on that. <laughs> it's our, our second time reviewing Marion Call, yeah, of course. Yeah, I should point this out. Yes, I forgot to mention. Thank you. Um... This is our return to Marion Call. We reviewed her previous full album. Uh, this is an EP, I should mention. Uh, we released her. We reviewed her previous full album, Standing Stones, a couple of years ago. Um, we're reviewing this one because, even though we don't normally do EPs, in fact, we have a rule against doing EPs because it is a huge departure for for Marion, and also because we did an anime double feature on Zombie Takeout this week, so I wanted to have something nice and short for the hearing need a bit of a break yeah um she's back to the bio she's also uh known for her use of unusual instruments such as kazoo brain stick and even typewriter she uses a typewriter as a percussion instrument quite a bit um and for managing to sustain a career for over a decade completely independent from the record industry um she's toured the country several times via cars often plays house concerts booked by fans even either in their actual houses or or in like lo local halls. Um, Swears is Marion's second DP and her 12th overall release, not counting singles and her ever-growing list of Patreon songs. And it's a significant departure for her. Like I said, most of her music ranges from jazz-based folk to sort of mid-tempo rock. In her Twitter bio, Twitter bio, she describes her sound as, quote, the love child of Joni Mitchell and Regina Spector raised by TMBG and Wolves. <laughs> um... But this time she went full on garage rock. Uh, I couldn't find the exact quote, but I do remember saying something along the lines of this isn't t the time to be mellow and folky. It's the time to be loud and angry. Yeah. Um, incidentally, there's also a radio slash kid friendly version called Cuss with all of the profanity replaced by good place style, um, you know, variations of the words. Uh, she wants to be able to play it on local radio stations and Where's she's got the some decent fun in that? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Yeah, she's also got some nieces and nephews. She'd like to hear it. She, she would like to hear the album. Um, Swears was released on July 30th, 2020, without a record company, produced by Marion Call and features Marion Call on vocals, Seth Boyer on guitar, Rocky Yokoloy Studs on bass. That is a stage name because the bassist <laughs> on the record works for the state. And since some of the lyrics can be construed as being a bit controversial, they want to remain anonymous. Um, <laughs> Kelly Henriksen on drums with additional musicians, Justin Smith, uh, additional guitars on Blanket Forts and guitar solo on Consequence. He also recorded and mixed the album. Uh, and George Kuhar, additional guitars and solos on Glacier Bones. Reminder, I don't edit any songs into our episodes for copyright reasons, but down in the description, if you're listen, listening to this on YouTube or on our blog at johnandscotta.com, you'll find the links to Swears on Spotify and Bandcamp, so you can follow along if you'd like. Just a quick refresher on Bandcamp, because I don't think I've talked about them since the last time we reviewed Marion. Bandcamp is a great place to find independent music. Um, they allow, allow you to stream all of the songs for free. And if you do choose to buy there, they give a larger cut to the artist than, say, iTunes or Amazon or, you know, the usual places. So, I think we uh, talked about it a little bit on uh, Serengeti's uh, review because okay. he is he is very much a big presence on uh, Bandcamp oh, as well. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I, I'd absolutely recommend checking out Bandcamp. 
Okay, on to track one, Blanket Forts, I Like You. Kind of a prelude to the album. <laughs> yeah. Um, the I first the first says time it I all. Went to, hmm? I think the first time I went to listen, I didn't realize I had to go down at the bottom of the page to get the whole thing. So I thought it started with Fix It, Fix It. But then, yeah, it's this that yeah. really begins it. It, it. The first line says it all. It's very fucking hard to see the goddamn point today. Yeah. Um, and it's just about hiding in a blanket for perhaps with your partner and just ignoring how horrible the world is. Um, love the snappy snare sound. I'm going to be talking a lot about the snare on this. Kelly Henriksen's a good drummer. Really good drummer. Very, on this album at least, very kind of Phil Rudd. Not a lot of Phil's. Very, very plays for the song. Um, but the snare sound changes on almost every song and I love them all. On this one, it's very snappy. Love the... There's two guitars, one in each ear. One is kind of fuzzy, the other's kind of crunchy. It's nerdy, different kinds of distortions, nerdy yeah. guitar player stuff. But the two different kinds of distortion blend perfectly. Um, and Marion's described the album as pop punk. This is really the only pop punk song. Right. It's um, the the traditional vocals with the, the crunchy garage rock sound. It makes mm. a real nice mix here. Yeah. Love how the tempo just kind of subtly picks up in verse two. Um, and then it just gets kind of dissonant and harmonically chaotic in the last verse. They bring in another guitar that just plays really dissonantly and against everything, all the harmonies that are going on. Um, not a lot more to say about it. It's just a great opener for the album that just sets the mood. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if she's talking about just the last five to six months or <laughs> if it's just been the last three years or so. Yeah, I yeah. mean, but yeah, <laughs> the uh, world is burning because it probably is. Yeah. On to track two, Fix It, Fix It. This was the single um, on the bank. On bank camp, uh, she says, uh, Marion has a quote, uh, you know, when you're having big, selfish, big, partially selfish feelings about climate change and capital capitalism, and your friend keeps trying to offer helpful solutions, when the fact is you just need to scream for a minute, this is that <laughs> scream. Ah, <laughs> uh, I fucking love this song. It, you know, it not like musically, but it reminds me a lot of um, Arcade Fire from. 2017 <laughs> and how that album just summed up that i had to go back and listen to it because of like yeah it was just that time and place right and of course this song is this time right now yeah. this is 2020 uh i it's, it's actually the least aggressive song on the album i think Can, but it's just this what the fuck mm -hmm. why <laughs> why are we in this what the fuck? Yeah. Love the entire second verse. I don't have it in my notes. I can't quote it offhand, but this frog, I love the, this frog is getting boiling hot, uh, yes. making no move to hop or not. Cause he's just found the nicest pot. And if we hate our own complicit fiction, isn't doing fucking shit to fix it. We, we've we just gotten so used to just the awfulness mm. of everything. That's that we're the, just... I just remembered the line. I, I wanted to quote really. The trouble with the world is us, and the trouble with us is we're good at our jobs. The paragon yeah. of parasites, and knowing we suck isn't making us stop. Right. We're embracing that we suck now. Yeah. We like that we suck, and it's just nothing will ever change. Mm. But back back to the music. Love the kind of deep bass tone. Um, Rocky uh, Stubbs gets some studs get some great tones out of this one too. Um, and this kind of barking rhythm guitar tone with these sort of ja jazzy background vocals. I which, love this. Yeah. Um, great King Arthur reference about finding, find about finding an lake and a lady in a lake will give me just the thing I can, I need to fix it. <laughs> well, you know, watery tarts, uh, throwing mm -hmm. scimitars. At you. I mean... And there's a two lines in the bridge that seem to contradict each other, but are such a mood for me. It was my birthday today was my birthday and all that I, all that I wanted was somebody to notice. It was my birthday today was my birthday and all that I wanted was nobody to notice. <laughs> Such a fucking mood. Yeah. I mean, we just celebrated our wedding anniversary mm -hmm. and then looked forward to the leftovers from that. But then <laughs> yeah. the tornado kind of, yeah. you know, we wound up throwing everything out. Ooh. But... Uh... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, right. It just the, the backing vocals with this makes the contrast so much better than yeah. even the first track. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this this is easily my my pick for strongest track on the EP. And just just um, a spoiler: I don't have a weakest on this album. You know, I, I have might. a favorite. I don't have a weakest. Yeah. I don't have a pick for weakest. Um, on to track three, Consequence. Love the drums in the intro. This is big, kind of big band, frenetic drum part. Very Gene Krupa. Um, with this chirping guitar riff. Kind of a surf rock guitar kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. This like chirpy surf rock guitar. And yeah. this low-tuned ringing snare that's just huge. I don't know if they too swapped out the snares or just reamped them maybe to move the mics i don't know but the snare sounds are so varied on this which is really unusual when there's one drummer on the entire ep um love the line um you did everything in the second verse you did everything you said you hated and skated and we all saw now you hold for applause because you know you can't possibly bum the song is about men getting away with shit (laughs) yeah um and, and because they have all the power um my glass ceiling is your, your glass, glass floor, floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Uh, and it's the first song where I really noticed the bass. I mean, I heard you know I heard it in the previous songs, but he does some really nice melodic stuff in this, on this one. Um, and this is when you get some really nice fist pumping. It's like yeah. almost, uh, it's almost a, a metal. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Song, I love really how aggressive the chorus gets, but it yeah. still kind of grooves. And then she finishes with that last note. Uh, vocally, just uh, just fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. On the track three, Glacier Bones. This is my favorite. Although that feels like a bit of a cheat because it is the most Marion song on the album. It's the most <laughs> like her, your usual stuff. Aside from the subject matter and maybe a couple of expletives, I feel like it would have fit on Standing Stones. Um, but this because it is her usual style, I think it fits her voice the best. I love how the groove develops. Um, the snare sound is just huge, uh, especially right between the verses. And I love how it's about how we abuse and capitalize on the environment. Yeah. And and there's a line about tasting ice from the Pleistocene. Yeah. If I had to pick one, this would probably be my weakest because it doesn't do as much as the others. And I think really it sucks just at how accurate it is. <laughs> 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 um, just you know how yeah. fucked we are and um, how there's a line in the second care. verse uh, growing up they told my class you're gonna change the world and now well we knew we knew and we know they were right we really can and I'm, par- I'm truncating we can move mountains yeah. if we try and then it cuts to nature's cold a killer queen she favors fast and sharp and mean we take after her we she, she taught us all she knew <laughs> we changed the world just in the wrong direction Right. <laughs> uh, and it's rare for a song to get me emotional, an environmental song to get me emotional, but this song does. Um, love the sort of sitar sounding lead bit between the verses, and there's a nice melodic guitar solo after at the end, or toward the end. Um, just love how mo- it's the most melodic, it's the most Marian song on it, so it's, it's my favorite. Um, on to, finally, track five, Sunnier. And this is the coda. Right. It's it's almost like a ballad. I mean, it still kicks ass. Yeah, it's still loud. It's like but... a, yeah. But it's it's the one it's goes it goes out on a high note. It's yeah. it's it's getting it's getting sunnier is the point of the song. Things are gonna get better. I mean, I kind of interpret it as like yeah, it's getting sunnier. <laughs> Tornadoes in the city, hurricanes on the coast. <laughs> oh, okay, it could be seen that way too. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I like to think it, she leaves the album with a note of hope. Um, yeah. Love the groove, love the sort of megaphone radio effect on the vocal. Um, Just like the light at the end of the tunnel is normally a, a train. <laughs> <laughs> Great big snare hits on the chorus. Um, nice melodic bass line in the chorus. And in, in, in the chorus, yeah. Um, it, it's just, you know, it, it's, you know, get been a matter of interpretation, I guess it's either, yeah, things are going to get worse or things are going to get better <laughs> or things are going to seem to get better before they get worse. Yeah. 
I think it's her best vocal on the album all the mm. way through. I mean, it's it's the least angsty, which of course lends to your interpretation more than, than mine. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, and of course, because it's it's not as angsty, it gives her a chance for better vocals. Mm. Um, also, this one messes with my hand washing a bit because there's I, I use a song when I wash my hands because I got to count twenty seconds these days. Yeah. Um, I normally use Cho- the chorus of "Choose Me" by Bandmaid. The beginning of this song, the beginning, the first couple of lines of the first verse are rhythmically, you know, syllabically very, very similar to the chorus of Choose Me. The melody's actually pretty close, too. So I tend, I've been flipping them lately. Oh. I got to time out the verse of uh, Sunnier, maybe, so I'd, it'll work, too. Um, so do you recommend it? Yes, I do. I think I, I mean, it's been a while since I've listened to her other work, but mm-hmm. yeah, I I wish this was a full length, definitely. I yeah. mean, I want That's, more of this. If I had any criticism of the album, and and I'm not going to... this isn't. I don't really mean this as a criticism, because I'm not going to tell someone what they should write about. Fuck it. Tear it. But, you know, <laughs> you there's really only two subjects you, on this. There's really only two subjects covered. You know, um, the environment and men getting away with bullshit. There's so much else to be pissed off about. Yeah, but I mean those are both absolutely valid things to be pissed off about, but there's so much more. It could be a full album. And they even work together cuz like the guys getting away with oh, shit yes, are fucking right. up the environment too. But there's so much else to be pissed off about. There it could have been expanded to a full album. But I mean, the end of the world and just mm-hmm. uh <laughs> gender inequality. Yeah. That that's enough. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Um, obviously, I strenuously recommend it. Marion Call is my favorite recording artist. Um, and it's great to hear her going in a you know such a different direction. I love loud, angry music too, so it's a great mix. Um, I, you know, so yes, please go check this out. Check out the links. Um, that's it for swears until um well next week i have two weeks here because we were planning to take this week off before we had to take last week off but i guess next week we'll be reviewing happy bivouac by the pillows going back to some j-rock we haven't reviewed any j-rock since bandmade a couple years ago so that'll be interesting until then of course always remember never forget wherever you go in life there you are there you are And just as a side note, this review is actually longer than the album. (laughs) Yeah, I guess it is. 18 minutes.